custom systems. I'm gonna make a quick video tutorial on how to download information from MBMS 7000 when you need to, um, you know, get recordings of, of whatever you're trying to and, and save it. So um, you gotta go ahead, and open up your MBMS 7000. Um, then I want you to go over to uh, up here at the top and you're gonna go to control panel, I think. Nope, sorry, not control panel. Uh, we need to go to system configuration. Um, then you're gonna go to file, and then you're gonna choose where it saves. So let's say you have a external hard drive plugged in, or you just wanna save it to your videos. You just click on those three little dots, and then you'll tell it where you wanna save. So for me, I have it saved in my videos. Um, I can go in here and create a folder, and then that's where all my videos are gonna be saved to, and then hit select folder. Mine's already saved the video, so I'm good to go. And then make sure at the bottom you hit save. After you do that, you're gonna to wanna to go back to remote playback. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select the camera you want. I'm gonna say front driveway. I'm gonna hit the calendar up here. I'm gonna pick my from and my to. You can only do seven days at a time. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're picking your date. So today's the third, so I'm gonna say I wanna do from the 31st to the third. I'm gonna hit okay. All right, and then I'm gonna hit search. It's going to search for those times, and then I'm going to bring over, uh, let's say, front driveway. I just drag and drop it over, and yeah, that's nice. Um, so once I'm here, uh, I have my little tick marks down here, and that's where it's going to show my, my movement. Um, if I want to download batch files, which is going to be easier instead of doing um, a start recording. So right here, you have a start recording and then you would have a stop recording, so you're basically just sitting there watching it. If you know a time frame, like if you're trying to do a whole day at a time or a certain period of time of, let's say, 8 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock at night, the easier thing to do is right-click on the screen, and then you're going to come down here, and you're going to go to Download. And then you're going to come in here and click the boxes that you want to download. So we'll just do these two, but you do as many as you want. I'm going to hit Download, and you can see Download Complete, Download Complete. So then if I go into my folders and I go to my videos, we'll do, yep, today, there's my videos. So this is my actual clip. This is just a little screen tag of what you're going to see. So that's just a picture. And then this is going to be your actual video clip. These uh, go into an MP4 format. So you do have to have either an MP4 plugin for your uh, Windows player or you would have to uh, have VLC media player um, or else the, the, the player uh, from uh, the, the LTS or Hike Vision, uh, their, their player, which looks, let me close these. Yeah, it's called VS player. And I have another video tutorial where you can um, download that because you do have to have an MP4 player. So again, just to recap what you're gonna do, let me go ahead and stop this. We'll do it one more time. Um, so I'm going to say, I want to see my sidewalk. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to pick my from, and I'm going to pick my two, then I'm going to hit. Okay. Then I'm going to hit search and I'm going to go back to my sidewalk, drag and drop. Then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit download. I'm going to pick my, my, and, and these are our military time. So this is the start time. This is the end time. So this one started at, uh, 12 midnight, basically nine seconds. Um, and then it went to it record for a minute. So it does it in little sections, little clips, and then it shows you the file size as well. So um, once you hit your download, it's gonna download it to wherever you chose. And let me go back and show you one more time on how to do that. You go to tools, system configuration, you go over here to file, and then you'll pick where you want your, your video, your pictures, um, and your configuration files. So I just have mine all set to the same thing, which is video. So again, if you have an external hard drive, you click this, you go in and find your external hard drive. Let's say this is my external hard drive. If I go in here, I can create a folder, have them all saved to that specific folder, so I know. And then you make sure you hit save. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I just want to make a quick video tutorial on how to do this stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions.